Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort, snort. Cody. Drip, snort, snort. I got the drip. So, I received a care package yesterday from the Dutch Brothers. Now, what I would like to say ahead of time, I say this every time, and I want to make sure people are listening. If you are a fan, if you like my content, and if you would like to donate something, either for use on the streams or whatever, maybe you just want to send a gift, which some people have done over the years, which is very nice, you know, run it by me. Do not, please, do not just send me something to the house without running it by me. I have had this happen, and sometimes, you know, I have to be safe. I have to protect my family. I can't just accept things here not knowing what's coming in with the insane amount of trolls and that nonsense and hatred against me on the internet for no good reason. I have to make sure that everything is safe. If a box just shows up and I don't know who it's from and I've never heard, you know, I'm not even touching it, it's getting thrown right in the trash. Or return to sender if I can, but it's literally just going to go, boop, right in the trash can and it's out of here. All right? So that's happened a few times over the years because people don't listen. If you're interested... And, and, you know, doing anything to donate or send or support or whatever you want to do, you got to run it by me first. Now, I'm a public guy. I'm easy to find and reach. You can talk to me on a stream. You can email me at darksidephilathotmail.com. This is not rocket science. It's pretty easy if you want to reach out to me in any way and say, hey, I'm interested in maybe sending you something. Here's what it is, yada, yada, yada. So it was many months ago that the Dutch Brothers actually sent me their first care package. And as you've seen, some of the things the Dutch Brothers have sent became parts of the streams, like the Magic 8-Ball, which we used to use a lot. We barely use it anymore, okay? Like, this lighting behind me, they sent this. This was part of one of their care packages, this LED lighting, okay? Which is very nice. So, you know, good good stuff. And basically, uh, they wanted to send me a new one, and they had talked about it a little bit publicly on the streams. It was a, uh, what was it? The, the Super Bowl stream that I did last month. Remember the Super Bowl event? Um, I had a bottle of gin. It was the whale tail gin that I had bought actually for the Christmas event. And I still had quite a lot of it left. <clears throat> and basically they were like, Hey, you know, we'll, we'll give you a hundred dollars per shot. And I ended up taking tons of shots of this stuff. So during that stream, they were like, you know, we, we know of much better brands of gin and we'd like to donate a bottle of gin to the stream. I said, sure. Why would I say no to that? Absolutely. So they said, okay, we're going to send you a care package with that and a few other things. All right, so first of all, <clears throat> they did send the care package, and one of the things they included, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's a brand new bottle of gin. Look at this. It's called Herahorn Norwegian Small Batch Gin. It's got a big old moose. Wait, no, that's a jackalope on the front. It's a, it's a rabbit with, like, antlers, and I think those are called jackalopes, Okay. So, that's interesting. <clears throat> All right. So, what does it say? It says, The Hera Horn, for many centuries, hunters and mountain men swore to have seen it. In North American folklore, the creature is known as Jackalope. Aha! In Norway, we know it as the Hera Horn. Hera Horn is also the name of Nor Norwegian mountains. From that mountain plateau, beneath the northern lights, we found the wonderful juniper berries. For our Norwegian gin, we trace the Hera Horn's tracks through abandoned mountain farms where we found our rhubarb, to the deep forests of the Norwegian lowlands where we harvest our blueberries and angelica and marjoram, and our handcrafted small batch gin is complete. So there you go. Handcrafted small batch gin. I'm, I'm you know, spoiler alert, I already opened it and smelled it. Woo! It smells good, but it's stronger than the whale tail gin that I had bought. This is 46 proof, or uh, excuse me, 46%, which makes it, uh, what do you, double that? No. How do you do proof? You double it, right? So 46% alcohol would be what? 92 proof or something like that, right? I think. Um, so it's actually stronger by a few percent than the whale tail, all right? It smells great, but no, I'm not drinking this today. This is not for regular streams. This is for special occasions. I'm thinking... The best time maybe we could we could bust this bad boy open would maybe be my birthday stream, right? Coming up first week of April. That would be pretty nice to have this as a goal during the stream. If, you know, for a big tip, I take a shot of gin while I'm doing the birthday festivities on the birthday stream, perhaps. Get drunk on my birthday. <laughs> we'll see. But, uh, all right. By the way, I still have some whale tail gin. We, we, I haven't drank it since the, the Super Bowl stream. So we still have some of that left, too. So anyway, there we go. 
Hera Horn Gin smells great. Thank you to the Dutch Brothers for that. Okay? But also, something that they sent that I feel, uh, you know, is it's this is definitely aimed towards something Kat really likes. Okay? And let me tell you, she was ecstatic when she saw this. She was like, wow, this is so cool. She's so happy. The Street Fighter official cookbook of street foods. Now, we were talking about this recently. Branded cookbooks. Okay? Is anything in this cookbook actually have to do with Street Fighter? Absolutely not. <laughs> it has nothing to do with Street Fighter. What they've done is they took the properties of Street Fighter. Okay? And they slapped it together with street food recipes that you can make at home. It has nothing to do with Street Fighter. In fact, the hilarious part is the author, I was reading the back of it today. And it says, the author of this cookbook also wrote Fallout, the Vault Dweller cookbook, and Destiny's official cookbook. Destiny's official cookbook. Destiny's official cookbook. <laughs> I can't even believe I'm saying that. They made a cookbook branded to a looter shooter game that's a ripoff of Halo. Yes, it has its own cookbook. Anyway. So what kind of stuff is in here? Well, let's take a look. How about... Uh... Trying to find... Ah. Ken's Shoryuken Cocktail Drink. <laughs> okay. Or what about... Yurian's Horiatiki. Greek food. I don't know what a Horiatiki is. But that's a Horiatiki right there. Okay. What about Chun Li's Mapo Tofu Special? <laughs> okay, so what it is, it's street food from all around the world. These aren't giant meals or anything. Ah, Makoto's Katsuo no Tataki, which looks like some kind of a, a raw seafood dish. Looks like tuna. It is. It is. Eh? Is it tuna? Sushi grade bonito. Yeah, bonito is tuna. Yep. Mm hmm. There you go. What you want? Oh, someone wants me to read one? All right, how about Ryu's beef menchikatsu? All right, beef menchikatsu, Ryu's recipe. Let's see what it is. So, it's canola oil, some chopped uh, garlic, ground beef, eggs, some panko breadcrumbs. Tonkatsu sauce, which is Japanese barbecue sauce. I know that for a fact because I've had it on many different dishes that I've eaten in the last few years. Some salt, some black pepper, potato starch, and some peanut oil. Place a pan over medium-high heat. You add two, two teaspoons of canola oil, onion, garlic. Cook till softened. Transfer onion and garlic to a large bowl. When it's cooled, add your ground beef, eggs, and tablespoons of panko, tonkatsu, salt. And mix it all together. Divide the meat into six equal-sized patties. Place on a plate covered with a plastic wrap. Refrigerate for an hour. Prepare three bowls for breading. Then you bread it with potato starch. Then you chill them. And then you fry them in a peanut oil. So basically it's beef with other ingredients fried together to be into these breaded patties in peanut oil. That sounds good, honestly. And you dip it in the tonkatsu sauce there as you're dipping. That sounds pretty good to me, right? Sure does. But again, that's a street food. Oh, wow. Who wants Sagat's Tiger Shot drink, liquid drink? Let's see what's in the Tiger Shot. We got to find out here. Water, sugar, crushed green cardamom pods, star anise, whole cloves and cinnamon sticks, Ceylon tea, vanilla extract, and some orange food dye and condensed milk. It's I guess it's not alcoholic. I thought it was an alcoholic drink, but I guess not. So God's kind of a wimp. Although he does have pad cra prow, which appears to be a rice and egg dish with a bunch of beans and seasonings. That looks pretty good to me. See that? So anyway, this is a really neat cookbook. And is it anything that's giant meals? No. But it's something that my wife said she might actually try some of these. Who wouldn't want a delicious, hearty helping of Vegas churros in their mouth? I mean, I would just shove them in two at a time. But anyway, there you go. Uh, it's a pretty interesting book. It's got characters 
from all the Street Fighter games. It ranges back from Street Fighter 2 all the way through Street Fighter 5. It's got, like, almost every major character in there, okay? So, it's actually funny, because there's art in the book. Like, this piece of artwork here, that's Street Fighter 2 Ken, but this is Super Street Fighter 2 Cammy, and it's got artwork from, like, all the different games in the book as well, along with the recipes. But again, the funny part is, this could literally just be a cookbook of street food, and doesn't need to have anything to do with Street Fighter. But the gimmick that they got the licensing of Street Fighter and slapped it on means people will buy it as a gimmick book. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of neat. And yes, Kat said she might be interested in making some of these recipes. We'll see. I don't know. People are like, well, can you use it for content? I mean, not everything in life has to be made for content. All right? Seriously. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. We'll talk to my wife about it. We'll see what we want to do. No, I'm not going to be doing cooking videos. Probably not. Um, but we'll see what happens. Okay? So thank you to the Dutch Brothers. That was really nice of them to send some really awesome stuff in a care package, right? <clears throat> That's really, really nice of you. I really appreciate that. Now, again, if you're someone who's interested in donating to the channel or channels or sending something, please do. I'm going to say it again. I know I have to reiterate. I know it's like repetition. Please do not just send something. If we just start getting boxes, they're going right in the trash, okay? Need to know what's coming. Need to know ahead of time who it's from, someone we trust. Please contact me ahead of time. There's many public ways you can do this to let me know you're interested. All right? I really would appreciate that. And thank you in advance. Uh, all right. Cool. <clears throat> so there you go. That was really nice of them, though. That was a really a really nice surprise to get something kind of special like that uh, in the mail. So. All right. Go. I got the drip. 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 It's like a faucet that's dripping. You can't make it stop. So what do you want me to do? Have a have a mute button that every second I'm tapping the mute button just in case I, I'm gonna have to clear. Like this is what I mean. These, these dumb kids. This is what it is. It's dumb kids. 